<laughs> hey guys, <laughs> I'm laughing for myriad reasons. I guess I'm basically laughing so much because of how much stuff I have to cover. Wow. Here I am. I don't know why I do this where I leave my spoon in the cup, but you know what I'm drinking? Which is leading into something I'm going to tell you in a second about this detox that I did before I got sick, but how it's really made a big difference in um, the way I'm eating. Um, I didn't plan on that, but it was a kind of, I guess, positive side effect. But <laughs> I used to love this stuff. And uh, believe it or not, I, and I'm going to just add some powder on my tablet. <laughs> Um, one of the things that's come out of me doing this, um, and I really need my bangs trimmed. You guys know I'm always fussing with my hair. I just threw it up in a little bun thing. Anyway, I don't drink coffee as much um, after doing this thing, and yet I kind of just wanted something like, I'm drinking a lot of green tea all day long. I really should have pulled that out, but I'll do a separate one on tea. Uh, I, I am finding that I really enjoy drinking green tea all day. And then this other tea from some folks that are here in Chicago, actually, Naked Me Tea, which is a detox, but they've got like a morning tea, it's called Boost Me, and then an evening tea, which is called Cleanse Me. And so the evening tea has more stuff to help you sleep and kind of calm down. and then, the um, morning tea is more to like, you know, pep you up or whatever. But here's the thing. So I mentioned in my last video that I've been doing, you know, crazy travel, like October and November, just insane travel. Let's see, I was out in New York. I had a trip in New York end of, well, actually that was end of August because I was out there for David's birthday. That was like a two week trip. Then I came back and I don't even remember, but suffice it to say, I was all over the place. And one of the trips is when I went back to, hold on. <clears throat> this is my, by the way. Something that if you guys haven't done your Christmas shopping yet and you want to get somebody something that is awesome, that is like $500 or less, I'm just gonna very biased to tell you to get yourself a Lenovo. Um, this is the Lenovo Yoga Tablet. Um, so you see this nice little um, ergonomic handle. This opens up so you can, you can, when you're holding it, hold on, when you're holding it to read or use, you can see that I'm holding it this way. And obviously, if you tilt it, and if you tilt it, and if you tilt it. Now this little thing is so nice because when you push this down, you can set it on the counter to hold it like this, so it can it can stand up on its own. Um, I often will lean it this way on a pillow to watch videos. Like when I was sick, you guys, this has 18 hour battery life. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that again, 18 hour battery life. I watch Netflix on this all day. One thing I'm very sick of is watching Netflix <laughs> after being sick for two weeks and having nothing to do but watch Netflix in bed. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the reason I'm pulling this out is to pull up my Kindle. Stop it! I talked to my technology. Um, anyway, so one of the last trips, um, when I was in New York, I stayed at the Kimpton Hotel. Um, God, I'm already at four minutes. I stayed at the Kimpton Hotel, which I love Kimpton Hotels. Reminds me of another thing I have to tell you guys about these great robes they have. Getting off focus, as usual. Um, I have a massage in two hours. Um, I stayed at the Kimpton Hotel and they had this really cool thing where they, you, if you're a guest, they have a book loaning program. So you log into the, the Kimpton Hotel website and they had three or four books that you can download and read on your, you know, tablet while you're there. Well, it just so happens that I wanted, like every book that was there that week, was it was just speaking to me it was my kind of book in fact i actually have two of them here so one of them was this this book um can you see that life by the cup 
by, I don't know how you say it, Gina or Zina Moose. I'll put the links. I, I can't even pronounce this. Um, really, really cool book. In fact, I'm getting it for a lot of people for um, a gift. But then the other thing that was up there was this. Um, they were actually, they're all up on my wish list. There were like six books there, and I put them all on my wish list because I started peeking at them going, oh my God, it was so awesome. But one of them was this um, green smoothie cleanse. And... Um, you know, it does say something like lose X amount of, lose up to 15 pounds in 10 days. I wasn't looking for a cleanse for losing weight. I was looking for a cleanse because um, I kind of felt like I was getting more stomach aches again. Um, just feeling bloated a lot. And I was, I had had several people say to me, um, you know, maybe you should do an elimination diet. What was it? Maybe it was because I had gotten sick before or something. There were just several people that were like, you know, maybe you have a food intolerance. Maybe that's why, you know, this or that or the other. So um, <clears throat> I looked up this green smoothie cleanse, and, and I think what I liked about this the most is it was pretty simple. Um, it was 10 days of doing green smoothies, and that's primarily what you eat drink, whatever, um, during the green smoothie cleanse for 10 days, but then you also can have, um, hopefully I'm summarizing this correctly, um, organic hard-boiled eggs, you can have almonds, you can have um, unsweetened peanut butter, you can have fruit like apples, grapes, um, I don't think they said to have like a lot of bananas and stuff, but you can have fruit, um, fruit, hard-boiled eggs. Um, unsweetened peanut butter, like I said, um, green tea, drink a lot of green tea and whatever. So I did it for 10 days and honestly, the thing that was coolest for me, I have never been able to just make up a smoothie and have it taste good. I am so, it's like me with salads. I, I'm not natural at knowing how to make my own salad dressing. I'm not natural at knowing the proportions of things to put in. So it's like I needed to be around my sister and Kelly down in Florida to see how they made salads and then suddenly I started being able to make salads. I think some people just have a natural flair. I don't. I need like a guide. Um, I'm a great cook, but I don't make up my own recipes. I start with somebody else's framework and then I, you know, jimmy it up or whatever you call that. That's my ex-husband's name. Um, but anyway, the cool thing about this is it has 10 days and each day has a different smoothie, a uh, green smoothie recipe. And they're very simple, but because I was following the recipes, I was able to see what things I like. I did like all of the smoothies, um, certainly when you have a Blendtec blender um, versus just a lame, like, cheap blender that can cost, you know, $50 or something. Um, it blends everything up so perfectly that it's awesome. You know, especially if you're doing something like a smoothie with kale in it, um, you guys really you need to blend that up. But most of these, like here's here's day nine. Here's here's one of the green smoothies: three handfuls of spinach, two cups of water, one apple, one and a half cup of frozen mangoes. You can use frozen or fresh. I use frozen everything. Um, two cups frozen strawberries. Um, excuse me, I have just got something in my eye. Um, um, it called for, you know, during the, the cleanse, sorry, during the cleanse, there was nothing like uh, Splenda. Of course, now I feel like I have something floating in my eye. Just what I need to do. So I'm probably going to be blinking funny the rest of this video. Damn it! Um, I can feel it in my eye. Oh, this is so annoying. Um, hopefully I can recover in some way from this. Um, you know, we're supposed to have like Splendor or anything like that, no soda. Um, and you guys, here's the thing. I did this cleanse. Now, bear in mind, full disclosure, if I can have green tea, green tea has caffeine in it. So it's not, don't get me wrong, I don't wanna misrepresent myself. It's not like I didn't have caffeine at all. I had green tea. I had no problem doing this cleanse. I followed it to the tea. I did the recipes that were in here. I had nothing but green tea. Sometimes I did hot water. 
Um, I drank a lot of water. I, I really enjoyed the tea, the Naked Me tea, and then also, I'll do a separate video on um, teas, you guys. Um, it wasn't difficult. I, I did not find myself, that's a lie. I almost said I didn't find myself wanting coffee because I remember saying to somebody, you know, hey, I'm fantasizing about, you know, a cup of coffee, but I wasn't going through the day with, I mean, people ask me, did you get headaches? Are you going through withdrawal? I really, really wasn't. Um, I think I noticed several days, it would get to be around seven o'clock and I would get a headache or the beginning of a headache. And um, I think a couple days I did, I took Excedrin um, for that. It didn't say, you know, you can't take that. So um, consider that what you will. I don't know what that means to you. If you're like, well, that's not really a smoothie cleanse, um, whatever. I was just doing it more so for me, you know, cause you're cutting out dairy. You're cutting out um, any kind of protein. I did put the, I think it's Sun Warrior Chai uh, protein powder. It's a vegan, a raw vegan protein powder in the shakes. Um, you know, so I didn't have any of my normal supplements. I didn't have any Splenda, anything like that. And honestly, it, it was it was easy. The thing that it, that it changed for me, several things. A, I find myself wanting regular coffee a lot less. Don't get me wrong. I'm never going to turn into a I don't drink coffee kind of person. I found, and I packed this when I went on vacation, I pack my green tea, um, and there's this cute little, again, I'll do a separate video on tea, um, cute little brewer that you can take with you wherever you go, um, which makes brewing tea really easy. So it, it taught me to um, really like tea. And then the smoothie thing is, is I remember before doing this, you know, some people go, well, you should try having a smoothie for breakfast. And I just, in my head, I couldn't, I never, it never appealed to me to make a cold smoothie. I have no idea why. I also didn't know any good recipes. So unless someone else made a smoothie for me or a protein shake, I was not in that phase of making them. This, doing this and making me realize when you make this in the blend tech, um, I put in probably 16, 18, maybe 22 ounces of water. Um, there's a lot of water. You're putting your spinach in, you put your flax seeds in. Um, you know, there's just so much nutrition in this shake. And I added up just for shits and giggles what the um, caloric and nutritional breakdown was. Every single one of these shakes was less than 500 calories. So it, let's just say it's 500 calories. It makes a huge Glentech full. Um, of green smoothies and I would drink it kind of all day so I'd, I'd have maybe you know half of it in the morning I'd have another half um, you know or some for lunch and then um, you'd, I'd still have my hard-boiled eggs throughout the day um, there were a couple days in the beginning of the cleanse that I didn't realize that she had stated just make one smoothie like one recipe and have that throughout the day um, I think a couple days I made two smoothies, but when I made two smoothies, I had less um, of the hard-boiled eggs. If I made one huge smoothie, I would have more hard-boiled eggs. I became addicted to apples dipped in um, natural peanut butter. I'll show you this peanut butter. I'm getting at Trader Joe's that I love. Um, so I just, it, it changed me because I really liked doing the smoothies. I liked having the smoothie to to sip on all day and you know you're getting your vegetables because sometimes I don't feel like cooking vegetables sometimes that I don't feel like making a salad so I'll tell you this it's turned me into a smoothie person someone who's gonna have probably a smoothie every day um, and it's changed the way I eat it's changed the taste that I have I'm God, I'm almost at 15 minutes you guys um, this is really strange and unexpected but when I finish this, you know, when all you're eating is real, you know, the smoothies, the eggs, the fruit, the natural peanut butter, um, all that stuff, like, I was just looking at things like Quest Bars completely differently. And my man friend was joking with me, he's like, really? Because he goes, I was always like, you know, don't touch that girl's Quest Bars. And it's not like I, I don't think they're awesome, but I used to have to, like, tell myself every day, you can only have one Quest Bar, maybe only two Quest Bars because it's so easy to overeat. Like now, 
I am not looking going, oh, I can't wait to have a Quest Bar. I'm more finding myself going, um, I can't wait to have, you know, like a green smoothie. I find that I don't want as many of the packaged types of foods, does that make sense, that I used to want or that I used to rely on. I tend to want just like real food. Um, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not saying I'll never have a Pop-Tart. I'm not saying that I'm, you know, quitting all of this other stuff. I'm just, it's been interesting to me how much doing that cleanse changed, I guess, my tastes. Um, I definitely lost some weight. I didn't weigh myself because I wasn't doing the cleanse to lose weight. I was doing it to see how I felt. And after I started adding foods back in to see what what bothered me and what didn't bother me. Um, so I highly recommend it. It's something that is, I'm, I'm gonna be incorporating a lot of this stuff all the time. Smoothies for sure. Thank God I have the blend tech. Um, if you don't have a blend tech, um, that's what you should invest in because a regular blender is not going to do smoothies the way um, the way that you want them to. Um, so I'm really pleased. Um, just can't say enough good stuff about it. But um, I will put a link up to the book. It's by J.J. Smith, I think is her name. Um, hold on. Oh my God. Just put the link down um, in my comments below because I'm having issues. I'll put the link also for the um, Lenovo uh, products, which you can also use my friends and family uh, discount to get an even better discount on this stuff. The new version of this uh, yoga tablet, by the way, has a projector. In it. So not only do you have this great 18 hour battery life, but then it has a projector so you can project uh, your movie up onto the wall. So that said, I'm going to sign off. Uh, I need to go make an appointment to get my bangs trimmed. I have a massage today. I'm so excited. And um, more later.